And so I, I know how honor works. I know the principles of God know that, that God was using you despite the fact that you're despised for it. That God was using you despite the fact that most people didn't even recognize it. And that God used you to extend the life of America, even though most people think and accuse you of killing it. Most people accuse you of dividing it. God used you behind the scenes to extend the life of America behind, behind what its shelf life was so that my children have a chance to preach in this country. Okay primary faith advisor, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you're, there's a direct line between you and the end of Roe versus Wade. <laughs> I'm praying for him. Every time I have the ability to speak into his life, I speak the word of God. So I want you to see, not because I was ever anything so special, but I am something so special just like you, because God sees me and God sees you as invaluable. And the more we say yes to God every single day, whether it's comfortable or uncomfortable, the more God trusts us with stuff. So with all due respect, I never thought, okay, I'm gonna serve this assignment. Now hear this, I never thought I'm gonna serve this assignment because Roe versus Wade will be changed. I never thought I'm going to serve this assignment because the embassy will be moved. I never thought I'm going to serve this assignment because $10 billion will go into farmers to family. I'm going to serve this assignment because I'll have a director and I'll be in the White House over all faith. I'm going to serve this assignment because I'll weigh in and take $6 billion out the first week of foreign abortions. I'll serve this assignment because we'll fund and be able to save compassion really and save over a million orphans in India there's stuff that would no one will ever know that we did behind the scenes I'm going to serve this assignment because there's 7.8 billion dollars that will go into the hands of churches with over 1.9 million jobs that will be saved in churches with with PPP because I'm standing in the right place I never thought like that and I never will because God determines the outcome I just serve what he asked me to do and whatever God asked you to do and Pastor Brad I think you said one of the most important things you said nobody's gonna think it's really I'm gonna put it in this terminology sexy or glamorous when God asked you was responsible spiritually dang near exclusively in, in the apostolic sense for what happened in those four years um, I've watched as you were dishonored been disrespected, you've lost, you've been criticized. I don't hear a lot of people coming forth and recognizing the apostolic, but as a spiritual person, as a spiritual person, your ministry didn't just stop when you prayed for people and preached and traveled the globe and went on TV. God was trusting you and getting to, to nurture and shepherd a nation to a place where my generation could have revival. Hey, it's not just local. You're, you're not just a mother to me and a mother to Nicholas. God chose you to be Abra. You think that name was accident? That was prophetic. And we honor you for being a mother to this nation today. We honor you. I say under this presidency, Mom, I'm saying this in front of everybody to say under Paula White in my opinion, spiritually, because of what you did, where you stood, how, what you've done. I don't think without you there was that. And if people want to hate you, they have to take it up with God for it or whatever they want. <laughs> but I'm telling you, because of you, yes, yes. the United States moved its embedded seat to Jerusalem. And you've provided pro prophetic shelter, prophetic shelter for this nation. A little bit more. You've provided a place. Thank you. She absolutely deserved that. That's, that's big stuff. Because of you, mom, because of you, not only did that act of such significance happen, but under that four years, we had three of the most historic piece of... God is watching over everything you do, and you are storing up eternal treasure that will go so far beyond, I think, that we can even begin to imagine. You need to send in $3,500. You need to send in $35,000. You need to send in that $100,000 check. If you do not write that P.O. box, and you do not call that toll-free number, and you do not become a ministry of sustainer, you will never see sustainment in your life, and your dream will die. Your call will die. There's just so much to study, and you go, well, how do I do it? Well, for your, 
first fruits offering because I don't even want to say gift because this is so holy. It belongs to the Lord for your first fruits offering. And first fruits is the full of. It's not the tithe. Tithe is one tenth of your gross income. It's the first tenth, not just any tenth. That's why it redeems the curse. But the first fruit is the whole of. Many of us bring one day. Some of us bring one week. Some of us bring an entire month's salary because we understand the principle of all first belong to God. When you present your first fruits offering of any size, I want to get to you my book. And that book is the principle of first fruits, the first things first, all first belong to God. I lay this out in extreme detail. Then for your first fruits offering, and you can't really say, well, this amount of this amount, but it just cost us a certain amount of money to get things to you, to air, to get the gospel out, etc. So for your first fruits offering of $50 or more, I will give you the book as well as a devotional. But then for your first fruits offering of $75 or more, you're going to get the book, the devotional, and a very special calendar with reminders of God's promises all through this year that God has life for you. God has life for your relationships, for your finances, for your ministry, for your dream, for every area of your life. So right now, I want you to click on that button and I want you to honor God with his first fruits offering by it seems like Paula White is making herself a candidate for the Nobel Peace Prize or something. But Paula, it's kind of hard to live down the many years of videos that are out there with you scamming people for $1,000 seeds and one day's pay and one week's pay and one month's pay and crying that you don't have any money when you're worth $10 million yourself and your husband's probably worth more than you. So. It's a little bit unbelievable. Hope you repent, though. Really do. One person can hardly take credit for the overturning of Roe v. Wade when people have spent over 50 years in the pro-life movement. I don't think the pro-life movement is going to be very happy for Paula White taking credit for overturning Roe v. Wade. Come on. <laughs> Everyone. And thanks for listening. Don't forget to check out my weekly radio broadcast, Prophetic News Radio. And also, I wrote the book, Paula White, President Trump's Pastor. It's an expose, and uh, it's over 200 pages, in an in-depth look into the life of Paula White. So that's available on Amazon. God bless.